So now we're going to focus on our ICV. This is actually our, our integrated vacuum line cleaning solution that we put into our cabinetry. In our operatory today, we have a full-size central, and at the end of our full-size central, we actually have our tank stored at the bottom here. And so when I pull this out, it slides out. And what you'll actually have to do is there'll be a blue uh, pickup tube right here that you're going to have to remove. And then there's also a solenoid that is, uh, has to be removed back down here. And so what we'll do from there is we'll fill this up with uh, water and the vacuum line cleaner solution. But this tank right here, it's a two gallon tank. It's eight liters of water in solution. Each individual cycle runs one liter of solution through your lines. It runs um, that process. And so you'll have eight full cycles in this tank. As you can see the shape of this, it allows for the handle to be held, to put it up towards the sink and to hold it very easily. You've got your top right here where we can actually fill this tank. So what we'll do is we'll take this tank and we'll run it over to the sink and we'll fill it up and then we'll run the solution with our high volume and our saliva ejector. So we've moved away from our central cabinet. We've brought our tank over to our sink. We're gonna take the top off of the tank for our ICV. We're then gonna take the tank and we're gonna set it on the lip of the cabinet and we can easily fill the tank with our, our faucet um, very easily without uh, having to have the weight of the two gallons kind of holding for the whole time that we're filling this tank up. Once we fill it up, we're gonna put the recommended vacuum line cleaner from the manufacturer of your, uh, your vacuum. And then from there, we're gonna put the cap back on. And now if you don't have a central cabinet, you can actually store this in a side cabinet. And so in this section right here, is we have our, our pickup right here for the, the tank itself. We've got the power for the tank right here that we're gonna plug both, both of these back in. We're then gonna place this back into our side cabinet. We're going to close the door. We're gonna so now that we've uh, stored our tank in the side cabinet, we can take our valves themselves. We're going to plug them into the ICV itself. When we plug them in, we're gonna open the valves. Same thing here for our high volume. Once they're attached, we're going to turn that ICV on and that is going to actually pull the fluid from the tank with the cleaner down through the vacuum and, uh, and that's going to help clean the lines. If we need to adjust the time and the amount of flow that is being pulled out of the tank, we recommend one liter of solution being pulled from the tank. If we need to adjust that, we can adjust that time at the distribution box. This is the manual setup, turn off and turn on. If we have a 591 rear control center, we can also adjust that time by depressing the ICV button on the rear cabinet control center. We hold that down until the black screen shows up that allows us to increase or decrease the time needed to pull uh, the, amount, the correct amount of fluid out of the tank. Um, once you are done with that, you can close the valves themselves. You can take them off of the ICV and you can hang them back up in your assistant hanger valves.